global anti-counterfeiting group was set up about uh, 15 years ago. It is the international network of the major national and regional anti-counterfeiting and IP enforcement agencies uh, throughout the world. We have uh, 22 members uh, in about 43 countries. The awards are, we instituted again about 15 years ago to recognize uh, uh, anti-counterfeiting and anti-piracy work by individuals and organizations which was above and beyond their normal responsibilities. So it was particularly to recognize uh, groups or individuals within groups uh, who were doing who, who, who were you know, enthusiastic about carrying it out, not just because it was their job, but because they were, they were really keen in, uh, uh, on it. Um, Interpol and particularly the uh, uh, anti-illicit trade program, uh, which has developed over the years since the IP crime unit was first set up, um, ha has really demonstrated this uh, with uh, um, limited resources. It has taken the fight against counterfeits and pi counterfeiting and piracy to what I call the sharp end. It's, it's gone out there and as we say in Britain, it has felt collars. They, they have arrested people, they have uh, detained goods. Most of all, they have done this through cooperation with national police forces, with national customs officers, with international uh, industry associations, with groups like my own. Uh, making sure that the, the key brand owners uh, uh, were involved in terms of gathering the intelligence that was needed for Interpol then to analyse uh, and to work on in terms of making the operations uh, uh, that they've taken, uh, they've taken part in, to making those operations successful. The key thing about public-private partnerships is that it's not just the sum of two entities. Uh, it becomes more than that. Once the public sector and the private sector are cooperating, you get a situation where two and two makes five, basically, and, and everybody wins. It's a win-win partnership and the uh, uh, cooperation that the GACG itself and its member groups have with Interpol is a perfect example of that win-win situation.